Microsoft is reportedly set to call the diskless Maverick console the Xbox One S All Digital Edition. That's a mouthful. Right when you thought Microsoft could not throw enough X's, could not throw enough abbreviations, the Xbox One X, they're like, no, we need more words to describe our one console. And they topped it for sure on this one. I don't quite sure you call this one, maybe just for shorthand, maybe just like the digital edition Xbox. Stating on the website saying that this Xbox is set for pre-orders in mid-April of 2019 with a general availability coming in early May 2019. So this is like right around the corner with this brand new Xbox, guys. Right before E3, that's kind of a crazy thing to do. Now this is the first discless Xbox One that's ever been made. It's, I think personally this might be a little bit of a foreshadowing to the future consoles and the rumors behind that, but we'll get into that later in the video here. But they're saying the reason why they want to try a discless version of the game, because one, have a slimmer profile, which is certainly nice, but also to kind of push the Xbox game past a little bit, and the Project X Cloud, which is going to be Microsoft's streaming service. So definitely want to try to push that. This will definitely be one way to do it. Now, I'm assuming this would be actually lowering the cost as well, which on the Thrust website, they state that this what this console will probably release around $200. So for a brand new console, that's not too bad of a deal. Now with the disk drive removed, it does mean that there is no way to play, say like your Blu-rays or anything like that with the 4K being available on this console for streaming when it comes to watching videos. It seems that like actually that it's gonna be more detrimental to the UK or European audiences as uh, the video offerings in 4k are not as common or can't be performed as well as a 4k blu-ray disc